Hey guys, it's the Soul Coffee, and today in Soul is a Monster Legends video. I'm going to be telling you guys how to complete the bounty hunt and get a bunch of free mythics. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, the bounty hunt is definitely the best way to get free mythics in the entire game. So definitely make sure to do the bounty hunt. It is very, very important. So basically how you're going to do this is first of all, before you even enter the bounty hunt, you want to pick a team of three monsters. And these monsters are going to be in charge of doing as much damage as possible. So that is the only point of these monsters. So make sure to get attackers and damage boost monsters and stuff like that. I would probably do two attackers and one monster with damage boost. Or three attackers if you have any attackers with damage boost. So yeah, just try to get as many monsters as possible to do as much damage as possible. That is pretty much all you need to worry about. And then once you go ahead and get your monsters to do a ton of damage, you can go and actually enter the event. And once you enter the event, you'll be put on a grid with some other players. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for the bounty on this grid. So you click on the shapes on the grid and then they flip over and you either get a reward, you get nothing, or you find the bounty. And then it'll show up an arrow. And you just want to follow these arrows until you find the bounty and then the bounty will show up and you will be able to fight it. And once the bounty is shown up and you are able to fight it, you will be competing against other players in order to beat the bounty in order to do more damage to the bounty than the other players on the grid. So yeah, you just want to do as much damage as possible, which is why you want to use damage boost monsters and attackers. So yeah, once you do a ton of damage and you do as much damage as possible, if you do more damage than your people who you're fighting against, you will actually go ahead and get a bunch more coins. And you'll get coins either way, but you'll get more if you do more damage. And then once you get the coins, you can bring them on into the bounty shop and you can actually go ahead and buy monsters for the coins. Now, once you beat the bounty once, you will not get enough coins to get anything. You will have to actually beat it multiple times. So once you go ahead and beat the bounty once, you will be put on another grid with more people. And then you will go ahead and fight the bounty again. You will go and find him again on the grid and then fight him again and get even more coins. And you basically just repeat the process until you get as many coins as you want in order to get the monsters that you want. So yeah, pretty much the bounty hunt is very easy to do. You just go and pick monsters. You get put on a grid. You flip over the shapes until you find the bounty by following the arrows. And then you can go and fight the bounty and get coins whenever you beat the bounty. And then you just repeat it to get more coins. So that is pretty much how you're going to complete the bounty hunt. How you're going to get as many monsters as possible you can get a ton of free mythics out of it it is very very good so let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be doing this event and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye